Well, good after, good evening. It's now evening here in Cottage Grove on That Oregon Life. I'm Rick Dancer, and we've spent the whole day exploring this town, introducing you to different places, restaurants, businesses, and all sorts of stuff. And now we're finishing our day right here at the Axe and Fiddle. Um, the Axe and Fiddle is owned by two people, um, Bart, who also owns Sam Bonds in Eugene. He owns Plank Town, the Hilltop. Um, now. Uh, he has a business partner in here, and we're going to go in and talk to them, and they made us up some, like, ahi food. They have delicious food. This is not what you'd expect. Um, and I'll tell you what, you guys, this place is packed because on Thursday night, this is where everybody in the community comes to hang out. So we're going to go uh, check this out here. She took off on me. So this is the place. Okay, so I'm just going to show you. This is the action fit. All kinds of seating in here. Cute little bar. All right, here's the woman we want to talk with. Come here. We're live again. <laughs> now, now there's people showing up. So you are? Alyssa. So Alyssa is the co-owner, one of the owners. I already told him about Bart. We got him all out of the way. So <laughs> He's in Mexico right now. Yeah, so it's all about Alyssa. So that's all we care about today. So you were a bartender here, and two years ago you decided to kind of take a leap. Yes. What, what did you do? I was bartending through college and fell in love with the place, fell in love with the people, fell in love with our atmosphere and decided I had to be more part of it. So what is it about this place? What is it What is it you found that, that, that is your why? Why do you do this? Um, definitely the people. So you provided a living room for And if you guys look behind us, look at this. The whole room is full. Every Thursday. So what happens on Thursday? Thursday we call it Bread Club. It's like community night, networking night. Everybody comes down here to see everybody they haven't seen since last Thursday. <laughs> this is where you catch up on gossip. So so outsiders, we kind of have to be careful, huh? I mean, we love everybody. You love everybody. You'll yes. take outsiders, but you're going to have to catch up with the conversation. Absolutely. You may miss out and you'll be a regular by, by, by a couple weeks. It takes right? about five minutes to be a regular. So, this is the chef. And, How's it going? And you are? I'm Ben. And Ben does not cook just burgers, although he, I bet you could do a hell of a uh, good job with the burgers. Best burgers. Best burgers, best best burgers down, ever. I'll, I'll throw down on anybody who doesn't say otherwise. Okay, so... <laughs> you, <laughs> ben will kick your Garland's ass. Garland's thrown down. <laughs> kick your ass is what he's saying. You want to put your burger up against Ben's burger? Well, you just, you know, going to do that, man. Get a burger wars. Let's start a burger war. A burger war? So, you get a lot of your produce from local... local. Yeah, I, uh, I source a lot of the produce through the uh, Scott's Farm Stand, which is like uh, maybe like three blocks down, right over there. And he sources from a lot of uh, local organic farmers. Also, we source directly for our salad greens through uh, this woman named Marjorie. She has a biodynamic farm in the area. Kaiser and Creek. Kaiser Creek Farm. Very good, top notch, best salad greens. So, people in Cottage Grove are really into working with each other, getting local products, and oh, you want yeah. fresh. It's like, the, it's like the bonus of having kind of like a big, small community. You know, there's a, like, you know, there's about 10 grand worth of people in here, but everybody kind of knows each other, so we're all able to coordinate and operate and like get like the freshest, best product that you possibly can. Okay, now he created something for us. So, come here, Ben. Show, show me what we got here. So, you guys, I'm going to show this to you, huh? Hold on, guys. Right this is not pub fair. No, well, I would say it's pub fair. It's, hey. nice. it's nice fusion pub fair. Well, so it's, right, right here I have our uh, ahi tostada, so that's yellowfin tuna, over uh, two taco shells that we fry fresh right to order, over a nice Asian slaw with a little bit of a uh, sesame ginger glaze and a wasabi crema on the top. All right, and you guys, I have to tell you, I did cheat, and I've already tried it, <laughs> and I'm doing it with my hands, because I don't care what you think, but... <laughs> Oh, and I ate, I couldn't I wait. know, you've already eaten half of it. We had, um, to, we had to rearrange the plate. Right? Yeah, so to make it look good, but I'm telling you, <laughs> you're really good. Thank you. I know what you do. No, that, what is it about food for you? For, that food's like, food's life for me. That's what, I've been cooking since I was 15, I'm 30 now. Um, you know, like, food, food has just been like my art form. I don't know, it's just like what I love to do all the time. I'm it, if I'm like, look. If I'm fishing, I'm still thinking about food, you know what I mean? Like, and in Cottage Grove, that's, it's becoming a foodie community. I believe so. I yeah. believe there's a lot of great places around here. Like, up and down the strip, you know, tons of great food opportunities here in Cottage Grove. And what everybody is doing here is amazing. And, like, all the cooks out there are watching here in Cottage Grove. You guys are awesome. So, and it's the beer, right? 
Oh, and the beer. The beer. Beer's good too. The beer. Local beer all the time. Ten taps. We have ten rotating taps that are amazing all the time. All right, so I hear there's some ladies upstairs that I need to go meet. Yeah, we're hosting a meeting for the South Lane Women's Networking Group, and, and they're so, dying to meet you. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to take you the other direction and go up, they're upstairs. Over there. Okay, I'll follow you. This is their room, guys. This is where the, the action happens. I heard you were up here. So, what what are you looking at? Uh, this is the South Lane Women's Network meeting that we're having. So, so you got this is like the, the hottest spot in the planet on a Thursday night. Look uh, at you. you. What do you think of that? Not a bad picture. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys all network up here, huh? We do. What is it about the Axon Viddle? Is this just the place where the community has to hang out? It seems like a great local place. They have great food. You can't beat the food. And the people are nice, too. Yeah. Well, I hope you get some work done up here. Thank you. I think, I think they're just here to drink. <laughs> so, um, the Axon Fiddle is what? The Axon Fiddle is super, super awesome with amazing food with Alyssa. She She's walks. pretty awesome, huh? She is. Cares about the place. Cares she about is. what you do. Yeah. And I'm going to show an upper view before we shut this thing down. Check this out, guys. This is where the community gets together. Thursday nights, these are the locals. If you want to find out what's going on in Cotton Grove, this is where you go. So, and the girls are still coming in. So, um, you guys, we've had a great time here in Cottage Grove. The people have been amazing, super nice and kind. Um, Kathy and I were talking just a few minutes ago saying, man, if we'd known this 20 years ago, we might end up moving here because uh, it's that old time feeling of how people treated each other. And I love the food scene here. I love the beer scene here. I love the fact that they take their history and they make that their foundation and then they're open to other things. I love that counterculture and loggers, conservatives and liberals are all getting along. Yeah, they fight, they want to have their issues heard, but when it comes to Cottage Grove, they do what's best for Cottage Grove. So again, thanks for supporting us. Uh, when you come down, support the local businesses that we've shown you because that's why we do this, to give them a say in what's going on. So thanks again for joining Explore Again. Thank you, Tyler, for letting us put this here on That Oregon Live. Uh, in June, we're going to be in Oak Ridge. In July, hopefully, we're going to be in Coburg. All right, you guys, have a good week. We're going to go have some beer. All right, see you later.